Here at NETC, some of the key elements we are leading can't succeed without the support of sales and marketing, manufacturing and our suppliers. The quality targets we want to achieve of basic quality and attractive quality can't be met without our suppliers having good product development capability to provide attractive quality components. We're trying to give people, both inside Nissan and inside the suppliers, a chance to better understand each other in order to improve their overall performance, to get the better car out, to get it out cheaper, to get it out faster. Long gone are the days where you give us a drawing and say, uh, produce that part for us. Um, and it's one area, actually, within our, uh, our discussions today in product definition that we realise we can make a contribution. We have the opportunity to see from Nissan's side how we function and let Nissan see how we see them. They're all talking about an initiative which is breaking down barriers between Nissan and its suppliers. Developed with Cranfield University, the scheme is targeting the all-important area of component design and development. Its name has a Latin origin, which means drive forward together. Today, the word is used to describe an idea which is compelling and convincing. Both meanings are very appropriate for Nissan's co-development regeneration tool, called Cogent. It's been implemented as a three-way partnership between Cranfield University, Nissan European Technology Center, and 89 of Nissan's suppliers involving 900 supplier personnel. Cogent runs hand-in-hand hand with Nissan's Next21 program, a program setting ongoing improvement targets for Nissan and its suppliers into the next millennium. But Cogent has a very distinct identity within Next21 with the specific goal of bringing the design and development activities of suppliers into close alignment with those of Nissan itself. With 80% of cost, quality and delivery performance being determined at the development phase, working practice changes this far upstream in the development process have significant overall benefits at production. This will mean Nissan's European operation can continue to rival the world-class standards of its Japanese sister plants. It was in 1984 that Nissan committed its first manufacturing investment to the UK, with the establishment of a new manufacturing plant at Sunderland. This Bluebird closes the first chapter in our product history. The Bluebird was replaced by the Primera in May 1990. And two years later, the plant was expanded to produce a second model, the Micra, alongside the Primera. In 1993, the Micra became the only Japanese-branded car to win the coveted European Car of the Year award. In 1996, a new Primera was launched, and in 1998, the first estate version of the car came off the Sunderland production line. By the year 2000, 90% of the Nissan vehicles sold in Europe will also have been built in Europe. Nissan's main European volume selling models will all be built at its Sunderland and Barcelona manufacturing plants demonstrating the vital importance of Nissan's European operations. But building the car is a later step in processes which begin with innovative design, managed here in Cranfield at the Nissan European Technology Center. The Technology Center is a key player in Nissan's fully integrated European operations, which incorporate design and development centers in Cranfield, Sunderland, 
Barcelona, Brussels, and Munich. Manufacturing plants in Sunderland, Barcelona, and Madrid. And a pan-European sales and marketing organization with its headquarters in Amsterdam. But it's here in Cranfield that the vast majority of the grassroots development takes place, liaising with suppliers to coordinate their component development with some of the most advanced design and development equipment in Europe. Nissan's advanced technology is shared globally. Satellite links connect Cranfield's design engineers and their counterparts in the USA to the 24-hour resources of two mighty Cray computer systems in the Nissan Technical Center near Tokyo. In the early 1990s, development was just one of five areas targeted in the NX96 improvement initiative. Achievement levels of quality, cost, delivery, development and management were all measured and targets were set for both suppliers and in-house departments to improve their performance in each area. The quality, cost and delivery performance of suppliers proved straightforward for Nissan to measure, so targets for improvement could be set and achieved. But development is a much more intangible area. The widely varying nature of suppliers' products and technologies meant they faced a diverse range of development challenges. Different firms had different perceptions of how they were expected to develop new components. Some were not fully aware of exactly how their development performance was being assessed, and consequently, overall results were poor and even threatened the competitiveness of future projects. When NX96 came to an end, and was replaced by Next 21, Nissan Euro Excellence towards the 21st century, Nissan's priorities had shifted. Many suppliers had achieved world-class quality levels with defect rates of less than 10 parts per million, equivalent to their world-leading Japanese counterparts. However, in surveys of the public's perceptions about vehicle brand quality, Nissan continued to rank below many competitors it regularly beat in factual quality data. Attention has shifted to overcoming the public's perception by building in a more aesthetic factor, attractive quality, as part of a total quality experience incorporating durability and reliability as well. Suppliers have been encouraged to learn from past experience to become more self-sufficient, both in planning and executing the development and design of new components. Although Nissan is always on hand to support a supplier, this will save the cost and amount of time Nissan has to expend in showing suppliers what they need to provide. For suppliers, the biggest change of all from NX96 to Next21 is the approach to design and development not only has the system for measuring success in this area been completely revamped, but Nissan is making a huge effort to realign its supplier's development processes alongside its own. This is where Cogent comes in. If the relationship effectiveness is going to be measured as part of size, then I'd like to stay within... Cogent was developed with Cranfield University to enable Nissan to work more effectively with its suppliers throughout the whole development phase. Its main focus is to improve communication and understanding between supplier and customer at the very earliest stages, so that what follows is a natural co-development environment, eliminating waste at every stage. We can see that people who work together in many locations, um, typically across Europe, uh, have actually very rare chances to have a genuine conversation about how they conduct their work. They're much more likely to phone each other up and say, you're doing a bad job. Realizing the fundamental commitment which Cogent called for from suppliers, Nissan began from the top down inviting managing directors of some of their suppliers to spend a day at NETC talking over the key points of co-development. It is 2000 
Um, you are a world-class operation. You win contracts. You practice your business globally. You are effective co-developers. You know, the very positive image, the most positive image that you can project of your company. Through workshops and posted discussions, facilitators from Cranfield University invited the MDs to consider what was needed for them to achieve world-class levels of design by the year 2000, and how they would implement changes to bring about the most effective co-development relationship with Nissan. The aim was not to push suppliers aggressively to improve, as some had feared but to have a frank and open discussion about how to make the relationship more effective. Decision. Cogent, as its name suggests, is a compelling initiative. And with MDs convinced, the philosophy broadened out to encompass technical directors before going deeper into the supplier's internal organizations. Ultimately, Cogent is designed to save time and resources in the development phase. Traditionally, these are expended most heavily in the course of design release, trial parts, and testing and verification, prior to any need for concern countermeasure redesign. Cogent aims to move the bulk of the resources back nearer the start of the process, so that supplier D&D is more predictive and concurrent the emphasis here being on right first time design. If the relationship between supplier, customer and manufacturing is more effective in terms of strong communication at the product definition stage, significantly fewer countermeasures are required later on. In short, resources are expended earlier in the process, but through the elimination of waste throughout the whole development cycle, total resources used are less. In this improved workflow, lead times naturally benefit as well. The result is a chain of true co-development. With the concept shared from the very beginning between Nissan and the supplier, engineers from both parties can work from the same basic understanding of what is required and with a full understanding of the challenges and problems they're both likely to face. For a year, NETC and Cranfield University worked intensively with first-tier suppliers communicating the compelling news about Cogent. At the end of that period, they realized that the message was not reaching the wide supplier base fast enough. They needed a more efficient communication vehicle to take suppliers through the cogent activity. The result was Fast Track Cogent, a day-long intensive event in which up to 40 people, broken up into three groups, could work through three specific workshops to take them through the core messages of cogent. Right, Fast Track. Let's go through a quick review where we are and where we've been. You all came to a kick-off meeting with us in December. Uh, where we actually explained what we wanted to achieve through Fast Track. Now, the, last the three areas of Cogent Fast Track concentrated on aligning different aspects of co development aligning perceptions, aligning processes, and aligning project targets and milestones. In each of the three areas, the steps or building blocks of Fast Track Cogent were the same. Where do we want to be? Where are we now? How do we get there? Implement an improvement plan and monitor the improvement plan. In advance of the fast track sessions, suppliers were asked to consider their current perceptions of their relationship with Nissan, analyze their own existing development processes and their plans to meet next 21 targets. They were also asked to begin thinking about where they wanted to be in terms of world-class performance levels of development. This question was developed in each session of Fast Track, leading into the more important question, how do we get there? This enabled Nissan and suppliers to identify possible improvement activities to strengthen their development capabilities in all three areas. 
Within the sessions, they were able to work on prioritizing areas for improvement and, as a result, draw up a clearly defined improvements plan. That's what we're trying to do in this workshop, is give people a clear chance to have a positive conversation about how they conduct their work, understand each other's situation, and hopefully get better together by having a better joint understanding. What we're going to do now is um, you've got an improvement action sheet that you were given at the beginning of the day. At the end of the day, like attendees were encouraged to prioritise further their specific improvement actions and to begin generating improvement action monitor sheets from their findings. Every supplier which completes Fast Track ends up with a clear set of mutually agreed actions for D&D improvement, worked out in conjunction with NETC and Cranfield University. Consequently, the success of Cogent can now be monitored against those actions. NETC can use these actions as simple criteria to recognize the development aspect of the supplier's performance and every supplier has a clear vision of what is being expected of them. Nissan is clearly identifying through Cogent what Nissan and its suppliers who support it need to do to stay in the market and stay competitive. All the stuff which is being done in this Cogent process is mutually beneficial and we will be using that to better our business as well as giving Nissan what they require. We were quite apprehensive when we came together as a team to the meeting we thought very much that we would be under the spotlight and it would be just finding um, things that we could improve. But contrary to that, it was a, a combined joint effort where we both participated, Nissan and Heller, to find the right way forward for the future. The 89 suppliers who have taken part so far are already beginning to reap the benefits of Cogent in their next 21 performance appraisals. From the results to date, on an actual vehicle programme, Nissan is making confident statements about the difference Cogent has made to the supplier base. If the rate of improvement made under the NX96 initiative had continued into 1998, suppliers would have improved a further 1%. The next 21 target to sustain continued world-class benchmarks demanded much higher, 5%. However, average figures achieved by those suppliers who've taken part in Cogent show an 11% improvement, bringing up the overall supplier base average considerably. As more and more suppliers are introduced to Cogent through Fast Track, these figures continue to represent a significant step change in performance. We have a total supplier base average requirement of 75% there is a distribution of suppliers above and below. We have analysed each supplier's current performance and set them a target to where we want them to be by December 1999. Nissan's activities with its suppliers have already led the way in the UK car and component industry. It has achieved great successes with many of its suppliers, turning in quality performances to match the best in the world. Now, Nissan is focusing on design and development, building in attractive quality to Nissan products. Its relationships with suppliers need to be strong and effective. Now, more than ever, the Cogent Initiative really makes sense. Together, we're developing the cars of the future with attractive quality that's really going to satisfy all our customers. Cogent successes to date ensure Nissan and its suppliers continue driving forward together. But the final success will be judged by Nissan's customers on a real vehicle program which will be launched early in the 21st century. <laughs>